We now know why the CDC wants vaccinated people to start wearing masks again. New findings published just hours ago show how much the Delta variant can break through our vaccines. Alex Littlehales reports on what those findings say and why they have health leaders concerned. Hundreds of COVID cases this July show a troubling trend. Big concern is that the next variant that might emerge, um, just a few mutations potentially away, could potentially invade our vaccine. The CDC looked at 469 COVID-19 cases from the Cape Cod area this July. They found nearly 75% of those cases came from fully vaccinated patients more than 14 days from any of the three FDA-approved vaccines. While no deaths have been reported from this outbreak, five people were hospitalized, four of whom were fully vaccinated. Confirms claims from CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky this week, who said vaccinated and unvaccinated patients can carry similar levels of the virus in their bodies. And we look at the amount of virus in those people. It is pretty similar to the amount of virus in unvaccinated people. The CDC tested less than a third of those positive cases and found 90% contain the Delta variant. In a statement released Friday, Dr. Walensky called the pivotal discovery a concerning one. She warns the vaccines are needed more than ever to stop the coronavirus from changing again. And the vast majority of severe disease, hospitalization and death is, is almost exclusively happening among unvaccinated people, which is why we so very much want to double down on making sure people continue to get vaccinated. Since January, Virginia has recorded more than 1,500 breakthrough cases, but that's still less than 1% of the total vaccinated population. In Norfolk, I'm Alex Littlehales, 13 News Now. So far this year, Virginia has seen fewer than 150 fully vaccinated people hospitalized from the virus.